everybody, it's Hyper. If you think that you have gone too far in the game or that you messed up the Euro quest line and you can no longer get the Nagakiba, I'm here to show you that you can. Even if you kill Shabriri. If you don't know who that is, just be warned. There are spoilers ahead, so if you don't want any parts of the main story potentially to be spoiled or the Euro quest line to be spoiled, uh, you should probably turn away now. You've been warned. So let's get to it. One thing you should know is the quest line does not have to be done in order. As you can see, I'm at the mountaintops of the giants and I'm at the, I believe it's called the Zamor campsite. And this is where Shabriri should be standing. As you can see, he's not there. That's because I killed him. I didn't like what he said about the whole chaos thing and his objections to me helping Ronnie because I want to do the Ronnie quest line. And I was like, I'm going to kill him. I like his armor. I think I can get the katana too. I killed him, dropped the Ronin armor, as you can see, but he didn't drop the Nagakiba for me. So I kind of panicked, but then I went back and I tried to do the quest line from the beginning thinking maybe that would help, and I kind of figured out that you still can get it. Now, like I said, you don't have to do the quest line in order, but you do have to do a certain portion of it, starting with the first encounter with a bloody finger where Yura comes to rescue you near the Murkwater Cavern. So, starting from there, you can complete the quest line. If you've already completed the quest line, you can skip this part and go towards the end where um, the timestamp is, but if not, I will show you where to go starting here. Here you can see we are in the northern part of uh, the lake by Limgrave. This is by Murkwater Cavern which is just off to our left. When you try to go to this area for the first time you will be met by a bloody finger named Nerigis. But Yura will come to help you save the day. Defeat Nerigis and then go north and talk to Yura. Next you will head and progress through the story, typically, if you've done it the right way, to the Academy of Raya Lucaria, and you are going to go to the main Academy gate after getting the key, and you follow that whole part that's required of the main story. Now, once you go to that main Academy gate, you're going to go past the sill without touching it, and you're going to walk to the end of this bridge all the way up until you get to the first break in the bridge, right around here. Now, on the floor, I don't have it because I've already done it, there should be a... Uh, a mark uh, for a bloody finger for somebody to invade. You're going to accept that request and you're going to go to the aid of Yura and you're going to help him kill the Raven Mount Assassin on the bridge. Help him kill the Raven Mount Assassin and then talk to him after that until you've completely completed all of his text options. He should give you something and then um, you should be ready to go to the next location from here. Now, in order to complete the next parts, you will have had to at least gotten both parts of the Dectus Medallion and gone to the Altus Plateau. If you haven't done that yet, you couldn't be to Shabriri and you couldn't possibly have passed the quest line. So, we are going to head over to the next location there. And that will be at the starting area of the Altus Plateau, the western part, uh, the Second Church of America. And we're going to go there from the Altus Highway Junction. Once you go there, you will be attacked by a bloody finger. You're gonna find you're on the ground bleeding out and dying and you're going to have to help save him from Ele or Eleonora's um, attacking and once you beat her you should get her pole blade, uh, you should get I think like a uh, furl calling remedy and next to Yura's body on the ground there should be Nagakiba but if you haven't gone this part or you passed it you'll notice if you go there it's not there. So if you complete this part you're still gonna have to go fight Eleonora, so kill her and then we can progress to the next part of the quest to make sure it's 100% complete. That brings us here to Zamor, again in the mountaintops of the giants. Now this is where the quest line is supposed to end, when you meet and talk to Shabriri. And typically most people kill him here, or they follow his quest line for the frenzied flame. But enough of that, you can see that in game. Um, I did choose to kill him because I wanted the Ronin armor, and this is where, like I said, this is where it ends. If you come here and you kill him or you talk to him, that's the end. And you can go back to one of the very beginning places, and that's going to be back in Limgrave, quite near to where you killed the dragon the first time after meeting Yura if you met him before the Bloody Finger encounter. It's not a requirement, but that is the earliest place you can talk to him. Now, that place is going to be here, and that's going to be a kill lake south, and you're going to be looking for this um, arch in the ground. It shows up on the map, and we're going to go straight to it. It's pretty close to where a kill lake south uh, Lost Grey site is. So let's run over there really quick, and I'll show you 
one of the places people have been finding it even if they botched the quest line or completely skipped it entirely. Including people who did kill Yura or completed the Bloody Finger fight with Eleonora and did not pick it up. Um, I'm going to show you, like, after you walk under here, this could be the first part of the uh, quest line where you meet him, potentially before even the dragon and the Bloody Finger fight, if you progressed it from the very start. It's not a requirement, but it, this could be the earliest place. This is his little campsite, and he's usually sitting by the fire right here. Now, he's not there, obviously, because I'm far enough, but some people are saying you will find a little point of light on the ground, like a typical item drop. I did not find it here, um, but hey, it's worth a shot, depending on how you did mess with the quest line or if you didn't complete it yet. Now, the second part is going to be north of uh, the Merc Water Cave, uh, near where you talked to him the second time after fighting the Bloody Fingers. So we're going to travel the Merc Water Cave. <clears throat> Now once you spawn there, we're going to just run back out of the cave, uh, back into the river, and hop on Torrent, and make our way north to that uh, other site. Now typically, this is where um, you would talk to Yura before you would go um, see him at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And this is the uh, second, or the first Bloody Finger fight as well, same location, just north of that. You're going to pass through this uh, opening in the rocks, and you're going to see there are some gravestones and bodies in the water to your right-hand side. Now, this is where I found Nagakiba after that whole process, even after I killed Shabriri and I didn't complete the quest line. This even works if you killed them and you did not pick it up off of Yuri's body after you killed them. It could also be, I, from what I've seen, uh, potentially other people saying it's somewhere else in this cave, like maybe on this other pile of rocks over there by that jellyfish that's kind of swimming through the air. But either way, it should be under the arch over there at uh, Lake uh, Akil South or right here. And congratulations. Now you have the entire set of Yura's armor. You have Nagakiba, you have his whole set of samurai gear, and you just look badass. And look at the sword, it's, it's wild. Super long, incredible reach, great um, uh, ashes of war. Look at that, that's awesome. And it does blood loss, not as good as like, uh, you know, Meteoric Blade, but it's akin to Uchigatan. Like you could power stance this with Uchigatana, great. And it's, it's, it's just an awesome sword. I recommend going through this whole quest line, going through the process to get it, because it absolutely is worth it, at least in my eyes. So again, if you guys think you messed up the quest line and you can't get Nagakiba, I'm telling you, yes, you can. No matter how you messed it up or no matter how bad it was, you still have a chance at completing this set. And it's, I think, by far my favorite set in the game so far up until this point. But I am, you know, somebody who loves samurai and stuff like that, so I have a higher affinity to stuff like that. So I hope this helped you guys out. I hoped that um, you guys learned something from this and uh, maybe we'll see more quests like that that have different resolutions than just going through them right the first time. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.